Outstanding qualities are her, her courtesy, her consistent good humor, uh, her gracefulness, her generosity, and really her consistency and her steadiness, which are not necessarily flamboyant qualities. They're not show-offy kind of qualities. And I remember when I, I was a teenager, for example, uh, I used to tell my friends that next to the definition of normal in the dictionary was a picture of my mother. <laughs> and, uh, and I said this in a, in a funny kind of way that uh, she wasn't as neurotic as I thought my friend's parents were, nor as flamboyant. <laughs> and I was both uh, amazed and appreciative that she was you know, quote unquote normal, and, uh, and a little dismayed that she wasn't as flamboyant as perhaps I, I thought she should have been. <laughs> and then as, as I got older, as we all got older, uh, we began to appreciate these qualities more. And it really reminds me of a quote that Mark Twain said, that when he was 17, 
he really thought that his father was a very stubborn and ignorant person. And when he was 21, he was amazed at how much his father had learned in four years. <laughs> so, along a similar vein, uh, as, as we've gotten older, we've come to enormously appreciate how extraordinary some of these qualities that seem so normal and humdrum to me were when I was younger, and how uncommon good common sense is, and how rare that kind of uh, consistency and generosity and steadiness are, and how incredibly important they are, uh, not only to friends, as, as most of you are, and relatives, but particularly so to children growing up. And that's, that's something that I think we all enormously appreciate. Now, a lot has happened since, since we had this <laughs> 10 years ago. <laughs> and uh, including children, grandchildren, beginning to grow up more. And from small little things like getting new carpeting to big things like getting a new daughter-in-law, um, particularly my wife, Mindy, who I'd like to introduce to all of you right now. This is my <laughs> lovely, beautiful, and talented wife. And hopefully we'll get to speak with all of you more um, during, the, during the meal. Um, and I actually thought about making a lot of other different remarks. And I realized, as I, was, as I was thinking about this, that I really shouldn't use up all my good material now, because we're just going to have to go through this again when she's 80. <laughs> so I don't want to use up all my good material. You have to know we'll all have forgotten what you said. <laughs> <laughs> But somebody's keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the camcorder. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, but I can't let this go by without at least mentioning Irv, uh, who's not here to um, to partake in this now. And as I was standing out I mean, earlier than all of you, and I surveyed the scene and went in to check out the buffet, I couldn't help but immediately think of my father, Gene's has been Irv because he could kick himself for missing out on a feast that we all have ahead of us. <laughs> and all of us who know Irv know how absolutely true that, that remark is. Absolutely. <laughs> so, once again, I'd just like to thank you all and welcome you all. Um, and it's a great pleasure for all of us being here to honor Jean, uh, who's been just so steadfast and so good and so true in so many ways. To Jane. Okay, Hi, Bernie. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Joyce is going to start the speech. I want to get 
So I hope I haven't forgotten anybody, but Mom kind of helped write this list up, so it should be very accurate. Okay. First of all, Aunt Laura also celebrated a birthday. Yes, yesterday. Yesterday, right. But we're not allowed to divulge which birthday it is. But it's more than 70, okay? And then on December 4th, another secret birthday, our cousin Sue celebrated a birthday. <laughs> and cousin <laughs> Alan on November 18th. Am I allowed to divulge? 60. Oh. He's just a baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm doing the family, so okay, have yeah. I gone through? Oh, cousin Kenneth, I just have to mention, he will be 70. And on the 20th of May. No, he will No, not. he was. Oh, he was 70. Oh, Bobby, you didn't make that no. one. Your handwriting. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And I have to say how this mom wanted me to mention how they grew up together in Stuttgart. And, um, you know, how important it is that you are, and appreciate she is to come and celebrate this. I was always a senior. Oh, oh, I see. By May 20th, you definitely well, were always old. Right. He was a year ahead of us. Okay. And I'll just mention also that we have some anniversaries to celebrate. Uh, Hannah and Henry Hyman are celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. Oh, January. Congratulations. That's just around the corner. Okay. Now, Lynn has some friends she's going okay. to take. Okay. As many of you have known, my mother's friend started before kindergarten, Lil and Margaret, and um, I call them the three musketeers, Lil, <laughs> Margaret, and my mother. And um, so Lil has a birthday, happy birthday, and Margaret, they both yeah. had their birthday. Yeah. Well, I'm okay. the youngest. <laughs> and the baby is here. Okay, then my mother came to the United States a couple years after kindergarten, <laughs> and she moved to Springfield, and her first friend was Miriam, and she's here with us today, and I think they've been friends since 1951. My and Miriam also had a birthday August 13th. Happy birthday, Miriam. Then, um, <laughs> I think in Springfield, she met Sue Calum. Sue Calum also had a 70th birthday this year. Happy birthday. And she, my mother and Sue, they work together on the, putting together the Hadassah and Owens. So. Every month. Yes. Every month. <laughs> Every month. Um, no, I know about it. Every month. <laughs> and also she met Roz and Bob Star Steinhardt in Springfield. And it Bob had 70th birthday this year also. So happy birthday, Bob. And I hope we didn't forget anybody. <laughs> yeah, Bob. Yes, we did. I want to say something that nobody has, has mentioned yet tonight. Jean Dubin is a very good looking woman. <laughs> used to, accustomed to public speaking, as you will surely find out, uh, I wanted to thank all of you, my relatives and friends, for coming and to celebrate with me my 70th birthday. <laughs> and I want to thank my children, Lynn, Joyce, David, and Paul, for making this beautiful party for me. And I'm just thrilled, and I thank you all. I'm 27 years younger than you. You're a little slow. It'll take you another five years. Uh, that's what you told me, though. <laughs> and I, I was so proud of myself. Oh,